Guess we up here to talk about barbecue. I don't know why in the hell every year I got to do a damn food. I mean, you know, I went to high school, but I'm sure if I did best high school, it'd be high school lunch. <laughs> You know my big ass was in there. You want your pizza and your fruit cup? <laughs> Man. Man, hey, why you ain't have, you know, like best salad bar or something like that? You know, like, you know, something light. You know what I'm saying? You know, why couldn't do that like, you know, not no next year is going to be best buffet. I swear to God, I know. And that's the only way I'm going to be in church if they put a buffet in that something. <laughs> There's so much preaching. The preacher be preaching too damn long. You, I'd be starving by the time I get out of there. And that'd be my demon, the hungry demon. <laughs> if you want to see the best of me, cut your service down. That's <laughs> The nominees for best barbecue place, and it's presented by our friends at Home Depot, are Big Daddy's Barbecue, WBAZ 102.7, Shy City, Chicago, Robinson's Ribs, WBAZ 102.7, Chicago, The Tender Rib, WHUR 96.3, Washington, D.C., this is it, barbecue and seafood. Magic 107.5, ATL, Georgia. How the hell does it is get in two damn categories? That's some, 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 some finagling going on up in here. He you know, the best barbecue don't come from a restaurant. It comes from that brother with that barrel that he cut in half, and he didn't use firewood from old furniture. Your, your ribs might taste like a little pledge with a little lemon in it. <laughs> he ain't got no health stick or nothing. You might be dying to buy some little, but it's so tender and delicious. Huh? <laughs> what you put in it, if I tell you, you might die right here. <laughs> But the winner of, <laughs> of the Ford <laughs> Hootie Awards Best Barbecue, well, I'd be damned. The finagling is in. This is it, barbecue and seafood. Yeah. That's one of seven. Atlanta, Georgia, baby. This is it. Atlanta, Georgia. Barbecue and seafood. Been there, they got some good ribs, man. I'm so glad you won, because I don't know what material that is in that suit jacket, but that's a winning jacket right there. I think it's made of Cordoba leather or something. Boy, ain't no animal alive got that kind of skin on it. That, boy, this is a winning. I knew you was going to win. Give it up for him. This is it, barbecue and seafood. Okay. Amen, amen. I give my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, all the credit. I thank God tonight for my, my wife, who I call my queen. Ain't she beautiful? Amen. Yeah. I thank God yeah. for her. I thank God for my children, my oldest son, Telly, Nina, Tina over there. My baby girl went to be with the Lord a couple years ago, and I thank God for her. I thank God for Mr. Steve Harvey. Let's give a, him a round of applause. About to get you. You, about you, you, you know, Mr. Harvey, I got to tell you, I've been praying nine years that somebody would reach back that was an entertainer or an athlete, and he did. So he deserved a round of applause. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my managers, for my employees. 
all my custom. You know it. I thank God for being the underdog. Nobody thought that this is it could do it, but God did. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. No, I'm just playing. Hey, guys, I thank y'all. And we got to go out with a bang. We got a catchphrase we say in Atlanta. So if y'all say it, baby, we're going to say it one more time. It's the real tip. That's what that suit made out of real tips. I know.